ever send an Ethereum token to an Ethereum address and that token balance just doesn't ever show up, even though you have, uh, you know, the transaction hash, you can see that that transaction actually went through and it went through to the correct address. Well, don't panic because today I'm going to show you how to view those tokens and how to make transactions with those tokens. It's very simple. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get into it. So this issue of not seeing uh, tokens showing up in your Ethereum balance can happen. Uh, very often it happens for users of the Ledger hardware wallet where these tokens aren't being displayed on Ledger Live. It can also happen for those of you who are using MetaMask. Um, but also this whole concept of viewing or adding a custom token, it's very simple and it's a, it's a process that you might have to use again for uh, viewing tokens within a, an Ethereum wallet or you also might need this information to add a token to something like a decentralized exchange. Think Uniswap or Kyber, for example. So right off the bat here, I'm going to show you how to get the most accurate information and correct information for this token that you're looking for um, right off the bat. So these are the steps that I would take. Uh, three very simple steps. I know maybe for those of you who are new to crypto or new to this whole Ethereum space, the thought of having to add a custom token can be maybe overwhelming off the bat, but you only need really three uh, bits of information. And so here's how you get it. Right off the bat, I recommend that you go to tokenlist.org. Um, these again, I covered this in my past tutorial last Friday, but uh, for those of you who may have missed it, tokenlist.org shows you, it, it's a curated list of legitimate tokens and their contract addresses. The contract address is very important because that is how you are interacting with a token. And there's lots of scam tokens out there that might be have maybe having the same uh, abbreviation or same name. But the difference here is the contract address. And that information will also show you how many transactions are happening with that token, how many people are actually holding that token, how many wallets are storing that token, for example. So anyway, right off the bat, tokenlist.org. Um, I'm going to go to the CoinGecko list because they list a large amount of tokens, 1,500, over 1,500 tokens. So basically, more than likely, your token will be on this particular list. Uh, there's a lot of them. So let's. I'm just going to choose a super random one that probably isn't going to be... Um, added by default on any of these wallets or decentralized exchanges. I saw one, it was like Dracula coin or something. Okay, Dracula token. Let's take a look at this one. Um, before you copy, uh, there is a, a really handy copy uh, link here, but you can go ahead and click on the address itself. It will take you to etherscan.io. Again, you can check out exactly what's happening. Um, but here at the top, it'll say contract and then an address, and that is the actual contract address. So, so to add a custom token, you're going to need more information than just the contract address. So I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this address, and I'm going to take it to ethplorer.io. Links to all of these websites can be found down below in the video description, and I definitely suggest that you check this out. So by inputting the actual legitimate contract address into ethplorer rather than just the name and the token you know for sure that you are interacting with the legitimate token, not with a scam token that might have the same name. So again, you can you can see right off the bat um, the volume that's happening with that token, the total supply, um, the transfers, and the holders of that token. You'll also see this owner, uh, which looks like an address. It is not the same as the contract address, which is displayed here on the top. So pay, pay attention to that. The information you're going to need is the symbol or like the abbreviation of the name of that token. Also, you're going to need the decimals to see how divisible that token is. And of course, you'll need the contract address. So those are, those are the steps to take to get that information. Now um, I'm going to show you how to input that information to actually see that custom token uh, to finally unveil that mystery token that somehow disappeared uh, within your Ethereum wallet. Okay, so I'm going to go to mycrypto.com. 
This is very similar to myetherwallet.com, but this one is pretty cool. Uh, I I'm, I tend to uh, sway towards mycrypto.com for sure. Sometimes mycrypto.com doesn't work, but myetherwallet does vice versa. So pretty much I'm working with whichever one is functioning the best that day. Uh, but the, what I like about mycrypto.com is they allow you to download it as an app to be able to uh, interact with things like maybe you need to access your wallet through your mnemonic phrase, through your private key, or through your key store file. Each of these are very sensitive ways to open a wallet. And if you're doing that method um, with a website like mycrypto.com, crypto.com or myetherwallet.com, um, pretty much there's no kind of two-factor authentication, whether it be uh, signing in through your hardware wallet, like a ledger, for example, you have to physically press the buttons to uh, allow access to that wallet. When you're using things like I listed before, the mnemonic phrase, key store, private key, um, it's just a file. So it's very hackable and very easy for a hacker to see that information. So um, if you, it's a lot safer if you have to access your wallet through those options, if you download it through an app and mycrypto.com makes that an option. So I think that's great. So we're going to go ahead and open the app right here. Now there's nothing um, stored on this address. Please no one send anything to this address. I'm not going to access it. I'm considering it compromised pretty much. So for pr the purposes of this tutorial, um, I'm using this wallet. So uh, right off the bat, you see if you had an Ethereum uh, balance with this wallet, it would be shown here. And uh, the tokens are listed here. So uh, they go ahead and click on the button for scan tokens. And the list that they show here are basically the most common or popular uh, Ethereum tokens. Um, and so no tokens are found because, again, it's just referencing which tokens are listed um, with that Ethereum address. I have nothing on it, so there wouldn't be anything listed. But this might also happen for those of you who do have a balance of Ethereum and do have uh, tokens sent here, but, oh my gosh, it's not showing. Um, what you see here, this option is add custom token, and that's what you need to do. So we have, we will need the address, which we will take... Again, from here, we will copy it. Uh, this is, again, taken, the address is taken from uh, uh, to, uh, tokenlist.org. I'll paste it in. Decimal, it already kind of, oh, it's nice. It automatically fills it out. It says there's 18 decimals, token symbol, DRC, and balance of zero. But anyway, you can save it. Uh, so then in the future, if you ever add that token, it will show up as the balance. So really easy. Again, I don't have any DRC uh, tokens associated with this address. If I did, it would be showing right here in token balances. Now, if you wanted to withdraw those tokens, very easy. You have here on your, your main screen of uh, mycrypto.com of your wallet, uh, you would fill out the address you'd like to send the tokens to right up top, um, and then click how many tokens you'd like to send with the amount. And then right here, it says Ethereum or ETH, but there's a drop down menu. And if you had other tokens um, stored in this address and you've added the custom tokens, they would also be showing up here in this drop down list. And then just select the token, select the amount, um, fill in the address, uh, determine the transaction fee. If you want to make sure not to overpay on your transaction fees, even though this does have a sliding bar, you can always double check that. Um, I've done a video on how to never overpay transaction fees. I definitely recommend that you guys check out that video. Um, but anyway, uh, that's how you do it today. Um, very simple. I know it can be very overwhelming and scary, especially for those of you who are new to crypto. You know, you triple check that you're sending it to the right address and it still wasn't showing up. Uh, this is a really easy way to do that. So um, for those of you, again, who are using, let's say, your ledger wallets and it's not showing up on Ledger Live. Ledger Live doesn't allow you to add custom tokens, but you can access your Ledger wallet via mycrypto.com by using uh, this very same process that I just did. Log into your Ethereum app on your device, log into uh, mycrypto.com, click Ledger, select the address that you want to interact with, the address that you would have sent those tokens to, and it's the very same interface here for you to interact with that. 
so that's going to wrap it up for today's tutorial. I hope that you guys found this one to be informed of and helpful. If you did, I really appreciate it if you leave a like and hit subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to get more videos like this. In the meantime, we'll be coming to you as always live on Mondays. But until then, I'll see you soon. Hope you're staying happy and healthy. Bye.